Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to integrate this indefinite integral. So to do this, it looks like we can use tabular integration. And the reason is, if you look at this piece here, after repeated differentiation, it's eventually zero. And the sine x, we can actually integrate that. So let's go ahead and use tabular. So in tabular, you write down the piece you're going to differentiate. So in our case, it's x plus 8 squared. And then you write down the piece you're going to integrate. And again, it's really important that this first piece that you're going to differentiate is eventually zero. So let's take the derivative one time. So we use the chain rule, so we'll put the two in the front. So we get two parentheses x plus eight. This is to the first power times the derivative of the inside, which is just one, so I won't bother to write it. Then you take the derivative again. Um, when you take the derivative of this one more time, you're just going to get two, okay? Because the derivative of x plus eight is one, okay? The derivative of x is one and the derivative of eight is zero, so um, this is just two times one, so it's two. Taking the derivative again, we get zero. Now we have to integrate uh, sine x. So when you integrate sine x, you have to think backwards. What's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, I guess the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this has to be negative cosine x. And then we have to do it again. So what's a function whose derivative is negative cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So this should just be negative sine. A little bit tricky. And then we have to do it again. So what's a function whose derivative is negative sine? So cosine. Plus, minus, plus, minus. You always start with the plus, minus, plus. So again, the first column, we differentiate it. And we pick this one because we know that if we keep differentiating, we get 0. And again, uh, going from here to here, the derivative of 2 times x plus 8 if it's not clear, you can write it like this. And then when you take the derivative, you see it's clearly 2 because the derivative of 16 is 0 and the derivative of x is 1. Take the derivative again, we get 0. And then this piece here we integrate. And then we do plus minus plus. Always start with plus. And then you draw arrows and you follow the arrows and the arrows will give you the answers. So we just multiply now. So following the first arrow, we get negative cosine x. I'm going to put the negative out front. So negative x plus 8 squared cosine x. Following the second arrow here, uh, they're both negative, so it's going to be positive. So plus 2 parentheses x plus 8 sine x. Excellent. And following the last arrow, just plus 2 cosine x. So plus 2 cosine x. And then we have our capital C, and that would be the final answer. So the other way to do this problem would be to use integration by parts two times, and that's not fun. So I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.